Northern New South Wales and Senior Deputy Captain. Um, been a member for 18 years. So why you decided to come along this um, Just, I guess, just to wake people up. I mean, as uh, I've been an activist now for 10 years and been in the Royal Fire Service for 18 years, so this is like a full circle happening for me now. Um, yeah, and we're just seeing in the Royal Fire Service, we're th seeing things we haven't seen before. Um, time and time again since 2000. So that's fire behaviour, um, doing things that it's not supposed to be doing. Um, and now this year we're seeing a, a fire that no one thought was possible. We've always seen big fires, but not so many. We haven't seen 2.7 million hectares burnt with 700, 750 odd houses burnt. Um, and it's just basically hard work that have only six people have died um, compared to other major fires that's happened beforehand. You're killing us. Stop, you're killing us. Through your inaction, through your corrupt behaviour, through your taking money from under the table, um, you're killing us. You're killing Australia um, on so many levels. I grew up in Brisbane. And I remember my, my family, my dad was the only one that had to go to work and we lived okay and we could afford to buy a house. I'm 50 now and my, both parents have to go to work and we'll never afford a house. Um, so we're all, we're all suffering over the whole board. But through that inaction, through... Um, just the blatant lies, you're killing Australia, you're killing the wildlife, you're killing communities. We can't cope with what's about to happen. And yes, the fires now in New South Wales are unprecedented, but the worst is yet to come. So we need to act now, otherwise we will not survive. We will, as a species, become extinct with so many other species. We need to rethink everything that we're doing. I mean, in New South Wales, what isn't being burnt in, in state forests, they're logging. Without, without nature, we can't survive. Without clean air, you can't survive. And people in Sydney now are starting to realise without clean air, your life is it's, it's hard to live. Um, so, yeah, my message to the government is just get out. And sacking Morrison isn't going to solve a thing. Scott Morrison isn't the problem. It's the system. And it's a system that's been put in place since that little grub John Howard got in and started privatising everything. So the government now isn't working for us, the people. It's now working for big business, big corporations. And they don't care about us. They care about profit, and that's it. I mean, when you get electricity prices um, going up and up since they've been privatised, and I think the people in general need to wake up and stop believing this, this these lies. You're wearing a fire gear today. Can you tell us how hard the last sort of few weeks or months have been? How hard have you been working to put out fires? Yeah, a lot. I mean, we've been overworked and overstretched since August. Um, and we're seeing, again, we're seeing fire behaviour we're not used to seeing. I mean, usually we've got a plan. We're putting the back burn here, do that, do this. Now it's more reactionary. So it's first priority is saving lives, getting people out um, and educating people and then saving houses. And yeah, it's, it's just horrific. Um, and it's ongoing. We've only just got into summer and we've got to survive now until, you know, March, April. And we'll only have a few months rest before the fire season starts again. Um, and it's, yeah, it's, it's heartbreaking and it's, it, it's surreal. So I'm here at a climate rally. The last one in Brisbane, I went home early because of the bad fire danger, then I go to Rapville overnight and watch 20 houses smoulder, 20 lives gone, 20 homes gone, 20 families and they're homeless. Um, 
and the government just needs to wake up. Wow, you guys. That's on News 7 Australia. Um, you should share this. I just, oh my gosh. Okay, I love you guys.